Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 28 on Laplace transform. From last several lectures, we are using partial fractions to determine the inverse Laplace transform of a given rational function. In this lecture, we will uh, find out inverse Laplace transform of this rational function without using partial fractions. So, there are some functions which we can write by rearranging in such a way that uh, we can express them in terms of those functions whose inverse Laplace transform formulas are known to us. So, in some situation uh, you should observe that whether it is possible to write down our function in terms of those standard functions. So, here that is possible in this uh, function and if you wish you can use partial fractions also but uh, you can see here I have s raised to 3 so corresponding to s cube I have to write 3 partial fractions a by s b by s square c divided by s cube and this s square plus 1 is irreducible so corresponding to s square plus 1 I have to write two another constants say d s plus e so if we are going to use partial fractions we have to determine five constants a b c d and e so it is advisable that uh, observe your function and if you can write it without using partial fractions whether you can write it in terms of some simple functions so that is possible for this uh, function first we write down this function s cube plus 2 s square plus 2 divided by s cube times s square plus 1. So, if you observe these two terms we can take two common and we have s cube plus 2 times s square plus 1 and here s cube times s square plus 1 and now I consider s cube divided by this. Okay, now I can write this as s cube divided by s cube into s square plus 1 that will give me 1 divided by s square plus 1 plus if I consider this 2 s square plus 1 divided by s cube into s square plus 1 then s square plus 1 will cancel out and we have 2 divided by s cube so without using partial fractions we are able to write our function as a sum of two partial fractions and if you go using partial fractions then also you will obtain this form. This form I have written directly by rearranging these two terms and if I am using partial fractions if I consider a by s b by s square c divided by s cube plus d s plus e divided by s square plus 1 then also I will obtain this type of addition of these two partial fractions so uh, if it is possible to write your function directly as a sum of partial fractions then directly write it that will save your time otherwise this is always correct you can go in this way so now once we have written our function in this form uh, we can have we can take l inverse of both sides so therefore l inverse of s cube plus 2 s square plus 2 divided by s cube times s square plus 1 this is equal to l inverse of 1 by s square plus 1 that is sin t plus 2 times L inverse of 1 over S cube. So, we have to think for the formula for 1 over S cube and it is nothing but t raised to n minus 1 divided by n factorial if n is a natural number and here n is 3 therefore we have t square divided by 2 factorial and 2 factorial is 2. So, 2 will cancel out and we have sin t plus t square as inverse Laplace transform of this form. Okay, fine. So, for this function, we are able to write it in terms of these two partial fractions 
without using this uh, partial fraction decomposition we are able to write our function in this way another situations of this type are suppose i have this type of situation one something some constant say 3 over s minus a into s minus b then if i use partial fractions i will write this as a divided by s minus a plus b divided by s minus b and then i will find out value of a and b but suppose your pol uh, your fractions are of the same degree here i am having two linear fac factors and both are of degree 1 then uh, another way is you can take the difference of these two fractions for example suppose i have s minus uh, 1 and say s plus 2 so i will take the difference of these two s plus 2 minus s minus 1 so s plus 2 minus s plus 1 and uh, we can see we have 3 so here i have 3 so i will write 3 as difference of these two s plus 2 minus s minus 1 and here i have s minus 1 s plus 2 and this is now s plus 2 divided by this which is 1 over s minus 1 and s minus 1 divided by this which is s plus 2 so if you have two factors of the same degree and if your numerator is constant term then you can always write uh, this function as a sum of two partial fractions without using that method a upon s minus 1 plus b upon s plus 2 similarly suppose i am having uh, say 4 divided by this type of fractions s square plus 2s plus 3 say or we have to write s square plus s plus 1 i should take care that this is not factorizable into linear factors and suppose i have s square plus s plus 3 so these two are quadratic factors and both are of this same degree so i can take their difference if i subtract this from this then you can see s square will cancel out s will cancel out and i will have 1 minus 3 that is minus 2 so that i can adjust i can divide by minus 2 and i can multiply by minus 2 s square plus s plus 1 s square plus s plus 3 so now uh, this is 4 by 2 and we require this minus 2 minus 2 is nothing but difference of these two s square plus s plus 1 minus s square plus s plus 3 so we replace minus 2 by difference of these two quadratic factors and uh, this is as it is s square plus s plus 3 and this is going to be minus 2 and now you can see this is 1 divided by s square plus s plus 3 minus 1 divided by s square plus s plus 1 so without using that method without writing this in this way if you don't know this then you will write your function in this way s square plus s plus 1 here we have to write polynomial of degree 1 plus s square plus s plus 3 c s plus d then we have to decide this uh, coefficients a this constants a b c and d so if you have this type of uh, factors of the same degree in the denominator and if numerator is constant then you can take this difference and you can set your constant as a difference of these two here i obtain that difference of these two is minus 2 so i have i am set i have set minus 2 first there is no minus 2 here so i divide by minus 2 and i multiply by minus 2 then i replace minus 2 by difference of these two and i am able to write this as a sum of partial fractions without using this method so this will be helpful to you if you have this type of 
factors in the denominator of equal degree and numerator is constant in upcoming lectures we will discuss some more problems of this type i stop here thank you very much